All right, let's try adding one more module to our site called Sitemap. For this one, let's just go over to drupalmodules.com and look for Sitemap. Results appear immediately, and we're going to use this Sitemap module. Again, good reviews. In this case, it's only in beta, but it is in the green, so we can use it with relative confidence. Go ahead and download that, save it. By now you know the routine. Let's head back over to our modules and install a new module. Click Browse, Sitemap, Install. If we go over to our administration pages, let's enable our new module and save configuration. All right, so again, permissions and configuration. Let's go straight into configuration and see what we need to do here. In our sitemap content, show the front page, show active blog authors, menus to include in the sitemap. Well, let's include our main menu. And again, once your site is set up, you'll want to come back in and reconfigure this. Generally speaking, I don't create a sitemap until my site is basically done. But for argument's sake, this is just what we're going to do today. We're going to show our blog authors, and let's include our categories to the sitemap. Save configuration. And then the last step is to link to the sitemap. So go to Structure, and then Menus. Under Main Menu, click on Links. And remember earlier we said I didn't really like where that poll link was, so let's move it down. Click Save. And now let's add a link to our sitemap. Let's call it Sitemap. The path is Sitemap. And let's give it a weight of 13, so it's always the last one. And you'll see that Sitemap is now listed. When we go to our home page and click on Sitemap, there's the Sitemap of our site.